everyone, welcome to the Koiman Web Workshop. My name is Naomi Monte, and today we're going to make something really great, which is a DIY outdoor movie theater seat. This project should take no more than 40 minutes of your time, so grab your materials and tool, and let's get started. And for the tools, here's what you will need. We need a circular saw, a hammer drill, our sander, a pencil, measuring tape, our speed square, and for the safety, don't forget to use your gloves and also um, your goggles. And for the materials, here is what you will need. A piece of plywood, 18 millimeters, um, your paint, and also to add a little bit design to our seat, we use this painter's tape, your brushes, sandpaper, hinges, and also some screws. Step one, we're gonna cut our plywood. Uh, make sure for every seat you're gonna make, you need two equal pieces of wood. Um, it also depends on what is your measurement of your cushion. But in this case, we're gonna make a seat um, of 21 inches by 21 inches. So you're gonna need your uh, measurement tape, also a pencil. We're gonna mark um, to 21 inches. Next, you will need your speed square so you can draw a straight line. And next step, we're gonna cut it. So now we're gonna, for the safety, we're gonna wear our gloves. After you have your two pieces, we're gonna sand the edges. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna sand. Now that we've finished sanding, we're gonna do our next step, which is the painting. And to create a little bit of design in our seat, we decided to use this painter's tape. And we just... In this case, you can make your own design. We just created our own pattern. Make sure you press it good on the wood. So your paint can stay in place. So you can use whatever color you like. In this case, we're gonna use two colors, the gray and the orange one. So you start with one side, painting it, If you would like, you can also prime the wood before you apply the um, final coat, but that it's optional. And we use the water-based paint to make it easier. Remember also to paint your edges. So now we're gonna do the other side. Remember, if you want a straight line, it's important to let the other side dry first, and then you reapply your tape, and then you can paint the other side. Now 
now that we have finished painting our two um, pieces of wood, we're gonna attach them together with two hinges. So I use two hinges per seat. So now we're gonna attach them. And the good thing about attaching these hinges is that it will make your seat adjustable. So here you can see, you can make the legs closer to each other, on, or if you want to lay a little bit more down, you can make it wider as well. So let, a, let me show you. Now we're gonna put our cushion in front of our seat. Voila. And we also have another tip for you. Um, if you're gonna sit in the um, grass and if you would like a little bit more stability, you can also get some scrap wood, like I just used the one by two um, lumber, and you can just do some screw over it and then attach it to the back of the board. So when you're going to put your seat in the grass, it has a better stability. And last but not least, we ha also have another good tip for you, especially for the safety and also for the stability of your seat. If you have two hook screw and also a chain, you can also attach it to one side of your seat and this will avoid as well that your seat will collapse. And so we concluded our, our movie theater seat. I hope you enjoy many movie nights with your family. <laughs>